Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to a Rogue Escape Overview. Dude, it's so hot in Paris now. It's like VR in the summer is especially hard because of all the sweat and stuff. It's so annoying. I basically had to buy an AC just to play VR and I don't even play games like Beat Saber and stuff like that. So I can only imagine the struggle based on that. So a Rogue Escape seems to be like a puzzle escape room game, I would assume. I guess similar to I expect you to die or stuff like that. Never played, but I always heard good things. I'm not really a big fan of escape room games. I don't think I've ever even played one to be honest. I guess it's just because I don't feel like being trapped anywhere. It might be just part of my mentality or something like that but I don't feel comfortable in the settings like that. The trailer structure shows like the puzzle mechanics which I'm all about like this is my preferred games as well. Thing is for some reason it gives me like a Vanishing Graves vibes where it's not a lot of going on. Essentially if the trailer only shows that then I would assume the actual game won't represent more than that. So like automatically this game kinda is on an average enthusiasm level for me. But the storyline seems to be that we're stealing like a steampunk mech and escape with it to the surface but that's pretty much it. Like we're gonna travel through the machine and stuff but even the game description seems simple so at the end of the day I feel like this is only gonna be an escape room game and that's pretty much it. I guess if you're compared to Vanishing Race if the puzzles will be interesting enough to hold your attention then it's gonna be fine but I'm looking for a good storyline as well. Adventure, puzzle, those are the genres that kind of coexist and can make a good experience. Although on Quest we know 90% of games like that struggle with story altogether. So we'll see how it's gonna go. It doesn't seem like a big release so guess let's steal some shit. <laughs> Dude, don't breathe. Calm down. What? We can't turn? Game! Elevator menu. Language clear Oh wait, there's like no locomotion whatsoever. Oh, I'm kinda screwed. Okay, so this is a RuneScape game. I didn't realize. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, we're lifting up? Lift to the royal stables? Initiate lift to royal stables. What does it mean? <laughs> Should we just lift ourselves up or something? Come on. Oh, shit myself. <laughs> Hello? Uh, what do I do? Oh, shit. Okay. Turn left, right, left, click. I think, right? I guess we go down still. <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a couple seconds. Platform lifting binded to left stick thumb stick. Yeah, yeah. Reboot sequence. Left, right, left, press. Want to perish for want to rise. The lighthouse away is D. Okay, so this is literally the start of the game. I was so confused, awaiting manual restart. I did not realize this is gonna be a RuneScape game. Then I would like jump on my bed and play. So we basically just figure out as we go. Okay, what the happens here? Okay, we connect things. I think we have to connect to all those chips. And I think this is, yeah, changing the current. Okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, this is the position. Register this. <laughs> So we're in some kind of base, I guess. I wish I could at least turn because... I don't have that much space to play with. Especially now that I'm sitting down, but... I should have at least an option to turn. Oh, whatever, we'll see. Where are we? Like, this is like the hangar? Some legs and I don't know, some boiler on top. It doesn't seem like a mech, it doesn't strike. So this is one of those that the storyline is not explained like immediately and you gotta just figure it out yourself. Launch new naughty crawl. Okay. Okay, so we are somewhere. <laughs> we just start to press buttons and see what's happening. I I guess. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'll hit my camera. Let me move you a little bit. I don't know if it's a good position, but it'll suffice for now that. So, what is this? We are literally just clueless. What's going on? That's why I don't really like those escape room games. Oh. 
Okay. Here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whoa. Storage records, field notes, mounted components, engine of battery not charging, Zeppelin module for stuff, crystal not mounted. So I guess this is us and we just have to go forward. Um, okay. Battery not charging. God damn it. With those games, I'm like, you know. I hate being clueless, so just searching for a solution for me, it's like. Okay, engine started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another engines. Oh, okay. Battery connected. Maybe this. This. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just pressing things, I don't know. At least the environment looks cool, but still, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. I guess that's our direction. Radio broadcast? Attention all units, unauthorized access to the real stables detected. Fugitive is not trained pilot, track anything that doesn't access a valid herald. <laughs> I mean, it's all still going. So this is our map, and we just stay on track. God damn it! What now, guys? Come on! I guess this is pressure. It almost seems like a turn-based thing that we just travel. What the hell is this? Battery insufficient. Reduced consumption action aborted. Uh, yeah, this is like exactly like vanishing grace. We we're just fixing shit to just progress. What is this? The big wall surrounding this point will show a huge gate entrance. Oh god, that's why I don't play those games. I'm clueless what to do. Yeah, I think I'm stuck for now. I don't know. First of all, there's no locomotion. There's no options automatically to like modify for your own experience. I guess that's exactly why I don't play like escape room games because it's not good for the overviews. I'm like searching for things to do. I'm the type of player that likes to be not like guided, but at least have as some sense of what I'm doing. Like the game is designed to kinda play with me and not against me. I don't know, I've never played this genre pretty much, so my opinion is kinda invalid, but on the surface it's not a lot of going on for me personally, but I think some people will enjoy this because they like puzzles in a way that they like to figure out what's going on and solving stuff. Not for me. I think visually for quest it's pretty good actually. You really feel like you're in the giant steampunk mecha and you steal the controls. Other than that, I don't see anything more complicated maybe it doesn't need to but it's purely because it's not for me so my view is skewed i guess have fun for people who enjoy it <laughs>